Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Um, so, okay, this reading was requested. Sorry, I don't remember who requested it, and sorry it's taken me so long. I have had so many things going on over here. Um, and don't forget to catch me live, guys. If you're watching this right now, this recording, I do go live on um, usually Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesdays, but that might change over the coming weeks. It might be any day. Uh, where I go live but the timing will be around the same sort of time so it will be Australian Eastern T Standard Time around 10 a.m. maybe even earlier maybe 8 a.m. maybe 9 a.m. Australian time and usually I'll get offline around lunchtime here so around 12 o'clock 1 o'clock um, but it could change with the times as well but at the moment it's usually between 9 a.m. 1 p.m. Uh, where I'm live and it, at the moment it's Monday, Tuesdays or Wednesdays but those days may start to change. I might get online on a Friday or I might be getting online on a Saturday or a Sunday even. Um, so just keep stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live. I will try to get in a rhythm where I post something on my community board so keep watching if you are subscribed you should be getting a notification via the community board if not go and look at the community board um, and I'll start having to say I'll be live at this time tomorrow I might start today um, and start doing that anyway my apologies for this taking so long uh, this is Aries and Libra. Now, I shuffled these saying Aries and Libra together. I shuffled these saying Libra and Aries together. But it could cross match, okay? Just wanted to say hi and I'll turn the camera off because I'm, my camera's over top of this section of cards over here. So I'll just turn that off. You don't need to see me anymore. Bye, guys. I'll just turn this off. All right, let's get cracking. Everything's been shuffled. We're going to have a look at some of these. Uh, we're going to have a look at the black poker deck today um, and we're going to do some Lenormand, just two Lenormands uh, for each side. Uh, we'll do one from the top, one from the bottom. Everything's pre-shuffled and then we'll finish off with a couple of messages. Now these messages could give you a yes or no answer. So if you have a question that has a yes or no answer to it, please think about that while we're doing the reading because when we get to here... Uh, this may give you a yes or no answer, but basically that's just for some more messages. Okay, is it going to be a good match or not? Let's get cracking. We'll turn them all over. Uh, upside down, I will not be reading unless I really think it's necessary. Okay, so we have four of cups, ten of pentacles, the emperor, looking pretty good there on the airy side of things. Temperance, five of pentacles and the King of Cups. Now, when I first did these match-up readings, the very first ones, I was saying that this is what's good about the link, this is what's challenging about the link between the two people. Uh, we could still look at it that way, but I'm just thinking that a lot of the times really positive cards will come out in the bottom, negative cards might come out in the top, so it doesn't really matter where the cards are, it just matters what I'm feeling, what the intuition is. So let's see what we got over here for Libra. So that's Aries. Libra is getting four of wands. Nice card. Three of pentacles. Nice card. Uh, temperance. We will leave that one upside down. I said some of them we won't do upside down, but we will leave that one because of the meaning of it. Um, I need that to be like that. King of swords. Ooh. No, we won't leave that one upside down. King of cups. Wow, all the... Kings are coming out. We've got King of Cups here, King of Cups here, King of Swords here, and Emperor. Very, very male-dominated relationship. Okay, and the Fool is the final card. So, what's my feelings, what's my intuition telling me on this match? Okay, for Aries, I feel that uh, you may have come into this looking for something better. You may have come into the connection with the Libra because you were involved with somebody that things just weren't your cup of tea. Things just weren't working. So you're over here looking at your past relationships, your past connections. So you were feeling like there's an offer here. If you look at this card, um, some of them have the cup in the background. This one has the offer coming in. And this person's looking here going, oh, I'm bored with this. I don't know what to do. I feel this might be Libra saying, hey, look at me. Look my way. 
So that's what I'm feeling with that particular energy on that card. Over here for Libra, we've got the Four of Wands. So for you guys, uh, you feel like this connection is a solid long-term commitment kind of um, uh, connection between the two of you. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, lots of happiness, family connections, gatherings, lots of things that you might share in common, uh, Aries and Libra. Now, do remember, this could be reversed, what I'm looking at here. You might think, no, I'm Libra, this makes more sense for me, and this is more sense for my Aries. Um, now, I do see the Three of Pentacles. Now, for me, some people might feel that could be third party um, at times in a good way, not a bad way. Um, it could be children and it could be working on the same sort of projects together. If we look at these as this is how they match, uh, these two go together, these two go together and these two go together. Uh, when we say that the two fours go together, the fours in my poker deck, when you get a red and a black one, which is what we've got here, uh, cups, which is hearts and wands, which is um, wands, which is sorry, uh, clubs. Uh, that would be where Aries or Libra has something going on in the background. It can be a friend that Libra doesn't know. It can be a friend that Aries doesn't know. So it could be where there's something sort of hidden in this relationship. Um, it could be okay uh, because this is like working together together. Um, and this is a lot of happiness, a lot of gatherings going on. Um, it could be somebody superior as well with the emperor sitting there. So either Aries or Libra may have some sort of governing kind of body behind them. Uh, somebody that tells them what to do or tells them when to go or whatever. Um, the emperor is actually Aries itself. So you're probably all sitting there going, Aries is the emperor. Um, we've got the the ram there in the background on the on the wall. Um, he's sitting there holding his piece of the puzzle, his uh, chess piece. Uh, it's basically like where he's telling somebody else what to do. And this picture to me, it's like where he's sitting on the world, not a couch, not a throne. He's sitting on top of the world. Um, so I do feel that at times Aries may want to say, we're going here, we're going there, this is the way things have got to be. And Libra's like, well, let's work together, this sounds good. But then we got temperance upside down. The reason I left it upside down is, number one, temperance can be Sagittarius um, energy. Um, so that could be p playing a part in this relationship. But also temperance upside down to me is someone getting frustrated with waiting. Uh, so this person would be strong and full on and saying, let's do it now. This person over here is like, I'm getting frustrated with things not going the way I thought they'd go. Okay, so then we have temperance upright over here for Aries. It's good when you both have the same symbols, like you both got King of Cups, you both got the temperance card, um, and that's about it. But um, you both got fours coming out. Um, the emperor is a number four, by the way, guys. So three fours is actually changes the two four dynamic. Uh, three fours is actually, um, it's lucky. It's lucky. It's, it's about changes. It's about um, making new plans. It's about study and learning and moving together. So yeah, I'm seeing that kind of energy there. I am seeing a lot of male energy. Now you may be sitting there saying, well, I'm in a same sex relationship. And that's why you're seeing males everywhere, because it's male with male. Um, it might not be the case. It might be female with female as well. Um, but if you're not in a same-sex relationship, I'm not too sure why there's so much male energy in this reading. Um, I do know that this is the king of love coming out on both sides. And the patience, I feel that Aries would hold the patience longer than Libra. I feel like Libra from time to time might be like, ah, getting really frustrated. I'm running out of patience here. Whereas Aries would be like, what's what's the problem? Everything seems sweet. Um, now we do have a bit of a left out kind of card here. Now I don't know if Aries leaves Libra out or whether Libra leaves Aries out, but this can be a feeling of being left out. It's right underneath a celebration card. 
So I don't know if there's particular things. Like I said, I feel like there's a bit of a secret energy involved in this partnership. So maybe um, Aries gets invited to particular things and says, oh, look, uh, you weren't invited or they don't know you too well or it's men only or it's women only. Um, so I feel like from time to time there may be either Aries is doing that or Libra is doing that. And then one of you feels like you're being left out and not really sure why because everybody up here is gathering and having a good time and laugh and down here somebody's sitting here going, how come I don't have the key to the door? Um, it could be that Aries maybe has problems with money because this is somebody getting a lot of money up here. Uh, this is something to do with their past connections. Um, and then down here, this is somebody, when's the next dollar going to come in? Um, now over here with uh, Libra, we have the double king sitting together. This usually to me is something to do with working on a business plan. And the three, the four and the two kings to me is like a business plan and moving into a new direction. And this is where you're getting impatient because you want to start now. You want this new beginning now. But I feel like you're a planner, Libra. I feel like you need plans all in place. This is all up in your head thinking and deciding and wanting it to happen now. And this is like love, 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 love. Let's let's open up that doorway. Let's get there now. Now, if you look at it in sequences of this is past or problem area, this is what's going on now, and this is where you're going. So the past or the before the connection, this is all about long-term commitment and being truthful and honest. Uh, this over here is I want something better and I'm willing to wait. Uh, then we're moving into where you're at right now, possibly. Uh, this is all new plans and beginnings, celebrations, going places together, sometimes leaving one out. Um, and other times uh, it looks like Libra is going into the love channel pretty strongly right now. Um, the future, if we want to look at these as the future, I feel like at times Libra is getting impatient with where the direction is and ready for this whole new start. Over here, we've got a lot of dominating energy, but the winner is the love energy. So is it a good connection or not? I feel it's pretty good. Um, if you two guys work together and you've got a really solid friendship and that's all it is, it may be a friends with benefit with that three sitting there and the double fours. Um, I feel like it would work pretty good. I do feel on both parts of it. Sometimes Aries might feel left out and sometimes Libra might be getting a bit impatient with waiting. Um, so if Libra is getting left, left out, they're getting impatient with this. When are you going to invite me? When am I going to meet your parents? When are we going to travel somewhere? Um, and this will be, we haven't got the money right now or you weren't invited when I first got the tickets or something like that. All right, so let's move on to this because this is going, uh, eh, it's going according to time. These have already been shuffled. So what we're going to do here is four of these. One, two, three, three, four, four. Uh, bottom of the deck. Okay, so as I said, we've got a third party, two black, black threes here. Um, now this could be problems with parents interfering, someone from the past interfering with this because this can be uh, some really big stressful ending that happened for Libra before this connection came about. Um, but the person from the past keeps trying to pop in. Now, it could be that your Libra person was married before, they had a couple of kids, and because of the kids with the threes, um, they got three threes, which is lucky again, um, even though we got two blacks here. Um, yeah, it could simply just be that there's interference from family matters over here. Uh, over here, we got big, big love. We got responsibilities. We do have triple six. Don't get alarmed. It's nothing to do with the devil. I don't feel it's anything to do with that. Um, but yeah, the triple sixes, to me, this is parenting, working together with somebody, working on making this love bigger and bigger. It's like 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles sitting together here. Um, the nine of uh, this is like the nine of wands, but it's totally different when I'm looking at it in regards to business or plans, especially with a six of spades sitting there. This can be somebody being irresponsible at times. 
So mostly Aries is pretty solid, pretty true, pretty loving, pretty loyal, but other times there can be some sort of jealousy, there can be gossip, and then can be, oh, sorry, I stuffed up, I stuffed up, but this is where they come back in and they fix whatever went wrong. Um, I do feel for both of you there are some sort of other forces working here. What I mean by that is there's some male on both sides in spirit, um, something to do with three, six, nine, or March over here. Something to do with this six, 12, 18, or June over here. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on. Um, again, is it a good or not so great match? I feel that this would be pretty good as a friendship or a working connection or a partnership of some kind at this stage um, down the track it could change you know we could look at all of these signs I'm planning on going through the signs that are requested maybe uh, going into next year to see what's changed um, so be on the lookout for that if you're wanting an update on your particular sign with somebody else you want to see some more just put it down in the comments and we'll get to that all right, so let's lastly look at these and then we'll do, remember I said right at the beginning, if you've got a question, think about that question for yes and no, it's coming up. All right, so these are all pre-shuffled, one from the top and one from the bottom for each pile. These do not read upside down. Ooh, okay, so before we look at the bottom cards, uh, this is showing where you feel locked in. Uh, it can be stubborn behavior. Over here, this is where I wanna get to that bridge. I want this new beginning. Come on, are you coming with me or not? So I feel like Libra's trying to go one direction and you're sort of stuck in, this works, so why change it? <laughs> so that's what I'm feeling that's coming off Aries, especially with the emperor there. It's like, no, we're going to get married on this date. We're going to live in this house. We're going to travel to blah, blah, blah when I say so. Over here, it's like, well, I want to get to that bridge over there. Why are we stuck here? So, all right. Um, oh, that shouldn't be there. That could be a message for you guys. Libra, uh, sorry, Leo energy coming out in the reading. Okay, with a bit of luck, this could be a very successful relationship. And yeah, there can be some sort of secret. Now, I was picking up on the secrets being over here. So if you do have a secret, Aries, before you get too involved with this person, if you're already very involved with this person, I suggest that whatever the secret is, it's time to talk about it. Get it out on the table, cross that bridge and get there. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like it's a pretty good match. Uh, there is a lot of love with the big king of um, cups coming out on both sides. We do have a commitment card here. The commitment side of things is coming from Libra. Um, over here, it's more about fun and socializing and sometimes doing things on their own. And that might be where this feels like, makes Libra feel lived, left out. Or it could be that Libra's busy flitting around socializing and leaving Aries out at times. But I do feel it's a pretty good match, okay? Pretty good match. So let's just move these out the way. I'm running late. I've got to get on live. Uh, what time is it? Yes, I should have been on live an hour ago. I'm running late today. Okay, if you have a yes or no question, now is the time. If you're Aries or Libra, now is the time in case yes or no comes out. If it doesn't, this is just messages for the day, uh, for the reading. Wishes, is, wishes, was, wishes will finally come true. Balance is being restored. Uh, we'll take them from the bottom for the last two. You know something isn't true and you may be surprised. Okay, so no, yes, no, no. Um, anyway, guys, that's the reading and that's your messages, just final messages there. Good or bad match? We'll leave that up to you. Put it in the comments. What do you think with what I've seen here? Did it make sense? Did it um, resonate for some of you guys out there? It does look good with the balance thing sitting right next to him. I mean, if you look at these three cards sitting there together and then we had that um, relationship key of success, which I don't know where I put it. I put it back. Um, and the two kings of hearts. I like that. I like that. 
I do feel it's more of a friendship or a friends with benefits at times than a commitment like this card is depicting up here. Um, only because no twos at all came out. I was looking for twos in the tarot, in the poker deck, and no twos came out at all. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.